Hello, this is Anthony Fowler, you're watching Sporting Icons. So in a comeback fight after some surgery for the unified 154 pound champion, Swift Jarrett Hurd, and he took on Britain's own Jason Wellborn. Now Jason Wellborn, we here in the UK, you know, we know him pretty well. And he's a pretty tough guy. You know, he always comes to fight and he has lost to some pretty low par opposition. So this fight was always going to be a mismatch, especially as Wellborn was coming down from middleweight to 154 and he was the British middleweight champion after a very, very impressive back-to-back -back wins over another guy who a lot of us here in the UK like in Tommy Langford. So anyway, he gets the call. Do you want to um, come back down to 154, take on the unified champion, Jarrett Hurd. And he was like, yeah, all right. So he went over there and a lot of people was expecting Jarrett Hurd to just breeze through him, easy work, okay? Uh, but we in the UK, we know that Wellborn, even though his record isn't the greatest, um, we know that he is tough and he can throw, you know, he can really throw hands. And that's exactly what he'd done against Jarrett Hurd. And he hurt Jarrett Hurd on a couple of occasions in this fight. And who knows what would have happened if Wellborn didn't back off. Because in round number four, he had Jarrett Hurd up against the ropes. And he was unloading on him. He really was unloading on him. Now, was this a case of Jarrett Hurd, maybe his injury um, wasn't quite right? Or it was a case of Jarrett Hurd was testing out some new stuff? Potentially, maybe. Who knows? But... Ultimately, his defense, why, you know what, it was okay, but a lot of big shots were coming through from Jason Wellborn, and he was throwing left hook, right hook, body shot, uppercut, you name it, and uh, Jason Wellborn did real, real good, and he did himself so, so proud in this fight. In fact, in round number three as well, right at the very end there, he had um, Jarrett Hurd on the back foot as well, but ultimately, straight after the onslaught in round number four, Jarrett Hurd came back and started unloading on Jason Wellborn right in the middle of the ring with some very good body shots. Um, Jason Wellborn was trading back with him and I'm pretty sure a shot went through as a low blow from Jarrett Hurd um, about 10 seconds before the final body shot, which was a real, real cracker right across the center of the gut, just under the rib cage, the solar plexus, and Wellborn went down and he looked in his face like he was okay, like he could have got up, but he didn't actually start to stand up until the count of eight. So either way, I think Wellborn did very well. Um, we can't read too much into this for Jarrett Hurd. This is a fight he was supposed to win. Um, but what was interesting though is that um, Jamel Charlo, the WBC 154 pound champion was in the ring as well. And I think Jarrett Hurd was expecting like, I don't know, a bit of a handshake or something like that. But these guys have a bit of history. And Jamel Charlo kind of went in on him a little bit saying that this is easy money, name a date. And they ultimately did. But Jarrett heard he wants to have one more fight um, against an Orthodox fighter and then take on Jamel. But of course, Jamel, he's fighting December 22nd um, against, I forgot his name. Oh, uh, Tony Harrison. So obviously he should come through that one. This is another, what should be a pretty much formality for Jamel. So unification down the line, 2019. Yes, please bring it on. Uh, but... Yeah, I think that Jarrett Hurd, after this kind of performance, where he didn't look very good at all, for me, I mean, I only really gave him probably round number two, to be fair. I mean, round number three is a bit of a swinger for me. But anyway, he didn't look that good, but he, it looked like he was trying to do something different to what he usually does. Uh, but he needs to use his height advantage. He's got a huge height advantage over so many fighters out there. He needs to use it. But don't let your opponent in on the inside. Because he, while Jarrett Hurd is pretty good on the inside, he's not that effective in my opinion. But ultimately, he did stop Jason Wellborn with a body shot on the inside. So, who knows, right? So anyway, congratulations to Jarrett Hurd. Fourth round stoppage of Jason Wellborn. Of course, he retains his WBA and IBF welterweight or super welterweight world titles. Drop your thoughts below, click that thumbs up, and of course, subscribe. Catch you all on the next video.